Hello folks. So I just wanted to share some new information I have here. Um, my light pollution is about as bad as it's ever been. I have another neighbor now turning on their backyard light and um, and it didn't help with my own setup. I forgot and I, I, I left my reducer on my big telescope, that big refractor. And the last thing I want is a faster scope for broadband because my exposures are short enough as it is. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking that off and I'm probably going to start over on some of the targets I've started. But I want to let you know, um, I've been trying Game Zero rather unsuccessfully because, you know, the lower in game you go, the, uh, the higher risk of vertical banding you're going to get and my vertical banding was severe and as much as I wanted to image at game zero to let me take longer exposures it, it wasn't working out for me so what I, I tried is this I'm trying the Whirlpool Galaxy and, and at game zero it, it was a mess you should have seen I, I deleted all the data at game zero because the vertical banding was extreme so now I'm trying Gain 75, offset 15. I'm still doing only 30 second exposures, but the data is definitely much cleaner at gain 75. There's no way I can go to gain 139, unity gain. I, I will be overexposed easily at, at um, 30 second exposures. So that, that I can't do it. Um, now, this is my L Pro data. The mean readout is 1732. And look at, uh, um, well, while we're in here, let's just forget looking at one frame. This is actually um, 24 minutes of data I've, I've captured at game 75. And um, this is just a stretch. And look at, there's no vertical banding. The data looks extremely clean um, from edge to edge. It's a little bit of illumination issues, but guess what? Uh, I didn't actually have dark frames at 30 seconds for, for gain 75, so I had to use, I had one minute dark frames, so I used those, so I have the wrong calibrated dark frames in here. My flat frames were captured at gain zero, so, uh, and the, so the calibration is a mess, and yet, still, look how clean that came out. So I, I think this is going to be my new standard for broadband. I don't know how RGB is going to turn out yet um, because I'm not using a, a light pollution filter in front of those. But the L Pro data certainly looks clean. And if I do a, an automatic background extraction, and what, just stop. normally I would probably do a DBE, but even an ABE makes it look even a, a little better uh, edge to edge illuminated the corners are a little screwed up there but I don't know what, what, what do you think I, I think for me going forward game 75 is the way to go so I just find to share that new information with you I don't know when I'm ever going to finish a broadband object now because uh, I'll be switching to the the whole tech instead of the the, the reducer, and I'm sure the moon is going to be coming back soon, so uh, we'll see. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I will see you guys later.